to come up with a cure for Alzheimer's disease. Um, Alzheimer's is a progressive disorder that slowly deteriorates the brain function to work independently. It also is the main leading cause of dementia and other problems that uh, are similar to Alzheimer's. Some previous attempts to cure Alzheimer's is a medicine called cholinesterase um, inhibitors, which are prescribed to patients with mild or moderate Alzheimer's disease. This helps reduce some symptoms of Alzheimer's, but this medicine only works to help um, slow down the process of Alzheimer's, but it does not cure the disease. The science behind Alzheimer's is that it's caused by a uh, gene called EPOE E2 and EPOE E4. Um, EPOE2 is the least common um, form of of a gene to cause um, Alzheimer's, but EPOE4 is the most common found in those who develop Alzheimer's disease. Thank you, Joseph. Now on to the impact Alzheimer's has on society. Since statistics have proven that Alzheimer's is the most expensive disease in the nation, this causes stress on the person taking care of the person with Alzheimer's and possible poverty. So what is our solution? Gene therapy. Um, it can alter the gene of the disease, which could cure it. And we will most likely be using this on adults since children will be a little bit more risky since they're still developing. But where's the diagram? Since we're a little short on cash, here's the diagram. As you can see, here's a cell with a non-functioning gene. And as you can see here, we will insert the gene so where the cell can function properly. But what's the targeted gene? <laughs> the targeted gene is the APOEE4 gene. Uh, this gene will be modified because this gene allows for a person to obtain Alzheimer's and modifying it could prevent or even cure Alzheimer's. Research on Alzheimer's. Where is the gene located? The gene is located in a chromosome called chromosome 19. The science behind this APOE gene that it can encode three different types of proteins such as APOE, E2, E3, E4, and the APOE3 and E4 proteins can cause such as diseases as Alzheimer's, which that's where it comes from, or heart disease as you get older. The APOE and the E2 is a rare gene that can provide protection to the disease like this. The complications behind this is in the gene therapy, it can go correct or the wrong way, possibly causing a tumor targeting the wrong cells and infectious disease caused by the virus. Minimizing complications. At the moment, there really isn't a 100% chance that the gene therapy will come back perfectly. Everybody's a different and some people might react positively towards the gene and it may change their body or people will turn negatively towards it. The actions and potentially problems. The complications behind this is the best thing that can happen is that we can do and make everything sure that it goes smoothly in gene therapy and hope that the patient doesn't re react negatively to this surgery.